Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to the coffin of Andy and Lele. Well, last time we nearly died due to a hitman, due to, uh, but somehow survived even though honestly our plans were kind of terrible. But hey, they work, so if it's if it's stupid, but it works, it means that it's stupid that it's not stupid enough to fail. <laughs> I guess. Something like that anyways. And yeah, and then we then we got summoned by a demon, or Ashley did anyways, in his kind of amusing reversal. Although less amusing is the fact that he was calling us to contact us about our extended warranty or some shit. Or more actually, also the trinket that it gave us for the goddamn lemon, and needs recharging every goddamn vi vision. Ugh. So yeah, and now we're gonna go over to rob and possibly murder our parents. Good, clean, wholesome fun. The ice cream stand only operates during the height of summer season. What time of year is this? I have no idea. Uh, the trees aren't exactly very helpful. They are very... They're caricatures. <laughs> They're not really very helpful. Alright. This can't be the right place. Look how nice everything is. No, it's gotta be this. She did sound happy when she talked about their new place, too. What's their last name, anyway? What's their last name? It's yours, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, Andrew. What do you mean, what's their last name? The nameplates on the doors. Do they go with Dad's name or Mom's? Dad's name, right? Why would they change that at this point? I don't know. To throw us off? You really make it sound like they don't want us to find them. Well, us, maybe not, but her specifically, maybe. Uh, but... Uh, just a feeling I got. Well, whatever. Let's find the house of Mr. and Mrs. Graves. That's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Alright then. Grayson? Close, but no. Uh, Smiths? There's nothing, apparently. Aha! Here we go! Don't just knock! No one comes to open the door. Alright, all good. Whatever, let's just find a way in. These then. Jones. Shit. Ditterson? I beg your pardon. Ugly Van McKidiot. You're making these up, aren't you, Ashley? Come on! Look at this place! They've got a garden and everything! Doesn't matter. We'll fill our pockets and go. What, with vegetables? That might not be a bad idea, actually. We've got a car, after all. We can car- oh, so we can carry a lot of this stuff with us, so we can just... pluck a bunch of the ripe stuff from their garden. Uh... And anything else that takes our fancy? And make off with it. If we have the time. No, we don't know when they're gonna come home. Oh, I think this window is open. Yeah, no shit. Can you reach it? Nope. There's bound to be something we can stand on around here. I mean, it'll boost you. Check into the flower pot. Got key. Not! There is fuck all under the flower pot. Alright, they're not that stupid. Fair enough. Back door is locked, hee <laughs> hee. Uh, anything in the vegetables? Carrots. Potatoes. Wooden blank. Huh. Okay, those are That's kind of funny. Wooden blanks and all that. They seem to pop up a lot in this. I wonder if it's a metaphor or if it's just a coincidence. 
palatable potatoes. Or is it palatable? Yeah. A stick! Glorious. Well, they grow. Uh. Alright. Is that a wooden plank? That doesn't look precarious in the slightest. Ah, it's still too high. Lift me up. Well? Ugh. No good. It's open, but it's held in place by a latch that's on the other side of the window. Damn it. My fingers can't reach to unhook it. Uh, I'll push you up after you've opened the latch. You're just looking for an excuse to touch my ass. Does he need one? I... Okay. Two things. First of all, no. Secondly, like I'd need an excuse. <laughs> now hurry up and find something before I slap you. On my ass or the face? That, milady, I'll let you find out. Uh, so it's the face. Fine, I'll find something to unhook the latch with. Alright then. I mean, he certainly saved that ass enough times that I think he's earned the right to slap it around a bit. Oh, right. Uh, let's see, let's see. Aha! Andrew helps you climb through the now open window. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up. Thanks, but I'd much rather you just open a door for me. Spoil sport. <laughs> oh yeah, that would be easier. That'll be so much less fun, though. Renovations are afoot. Either that or the place is falling apart. Or someone had a very severe temper tantrum. Turn the handle, but no water comes out. That's probably because of renovations. I recommend you don't try to use this one. Yeah, no shit. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Not so fast. Now what do we say? Thank you very much. Wrong. Try again. Exceptionally well done. That was an earth-shattering performance. Yes. To think you'd open a door so swiftly and with such grace. Stunning. Marvelous. Breathtaking. These are but a few words I'd use to describe your ability to trespass. May I come in now? You may. Great. Let's split up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. And I see. I see why he tends towards the dramatic now. It's her, it's her influence, isn't it? Uh, hey, there was something I was wondering about. Right now, can't it wait? Our situation is kind of time sensitive. Well, it can, I guess. Good, then tell me later. Yeah, this is gonna come back to vice, isn't it? Let's see, my letter reads, Sorry to hear about what happened with the kids. I agree, it was probably a blessing in disguise. What the fuck? Don't feel guilty, it's not your fault. Lord has sorted it out for you. Yes, since Andrew will be finishing college, is there any chance my daughter could have his textbook? Those are so ridiculously expensive. Thanks in advance. Much love to you and your husband. Jesus Christ. Fucking... Salt below. Blessing in disguise. What... Fucking... Psychopaths. You never told me you dropped out. I didn't. It was just on pause until I got out of quarantine. Though given the situation right now, I guess I did drop out. Well, tough luck for their daughter. Your textbooks are in ashes now. What? Hmm. Ah. Oh, okay. I was about to say that the uh, logistics of the, the of that didn't quite make sense, but I see the perspective now. A fireplace! 
They have a goddamn fireplace, Andrew! Yes? This is some rich people stuff! Who has a fireplace inside their house? It's not that uncommon, is it? Not in older houses, anyway. But is this house old? Fuck if I know. The phone your mother never calls you with. Notice how there aren't any photos of us here. So what? I guess I'm a little offended. Not like there were any pictures in general in our last place either. True, but now that there are some, why not of us too? Guess we're just too ugly to be put on display. Right, maybe that's it. You're supposed to say I'm pretty! And you're supposed to be robbing the house! Get to it! <laughs> nag, nag. Uh, ooh. There's not much in the fridge right now. Mm. A cooking book. It's mostly broth and stew recipes. Huh. Interesting. In my ex uh, I wonder why it's mostly those. Is that foreshadowing of some so sort, or is it some just be indicative of them? I know I got it. Uh, I, I know I started cooking stews because I could make big batches of them and then just put them in the refrigerator for later. You know, because it, it took. I could just make big batches in a crock pot and it would take very little effort. So, maybe it's saying that they're lazy or something. I don't know. Your parents have lived here for only a few months, yet they still managed to hoard all this stuff, and a spare bed to boot. Money is clearly no longer an issue. Curious, is it not? And the extra bed implies there are no issues in their social life either. Oh. Hmm. It, it almost seems to indicate that they got a that they got a big payout of some kind or maybe uh, maybe more well-paying jobs or some such probably both almost as if they oh I don't know sold us to an organ harvesting operation but maybe I'm just being paranoid Cleaning supplies, such as vinegar. We find some baking soda. Dirty laundry. Right at the top sits some sexy lingerie. How uncomfortable. An excellent quality mop. Truly, this is a stellar mop. This mop, it is a work of art. This mop is incredible! Okay, I don't know why you're so obsessed with that mop, Ashley, but all right. The floor drain seems a little clogged up, but it's not your problem. Drain. With That's... Hmm... Bit odd. The way the shower is set up. Normally there's... there's a, normally they're set up in such a way so that they'll... That they're, you know, there's kind of a lip and all that, so that they don't. So there's no chance of it. Uh, so, so there's less chance of it leaking. But this one doesn't have that, or no chance of it spilling out. Rather, unlike the toilet upstairs, this one actually works. Good to know. On the table lay, lay some documents about purchasing a house. There's also a key. Okay, interesting. Metal box full of screwdrivers. Just screwdrivers? Here be screwdrivers. Let's see. Christmas decoration, including a string of lights. 
Christmas stuff, mostly candles. Alright. So that indicates... I'm not sure what that indicates. May, it might indicate... That this is taking place sometime near Christmas. Which would make sense since it was released near Christmas. But it might just be old... It might just be stuff from a previous year. Where the heck did Andrew go? Oh, there he is. Hang on. Blocking that. Don't want to miss my chance to actually see what's in here. Inside the closet are clothes, as well as toys and some rope. My thoughts exactly, Ashley. You close the closet. The closet is full of interesting stuff you wish not to touch. You don't even know want to know what your parents have been up to on this bed. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, you, you found the key. Nice. What's in there? There's no sign of any jewelry. So you spot some paperwork. It reads, Dear Mr. and Mrs. Graves, you have opted in for compensation for damages caused by our company's error. Our representative will be glad to meet with you. Please come discuss the matter further at your earliest convenience. Look into the folder, something else catches your eye. The death certificates of Ashley and Andrew Graves. Yup! They sold us down the river, didn't they? Or is it up the river? I forget. No, I think it's down the river. Whatever. They fucking sold us out, is what I'm saying. Huh. Huh? I didn't know we died three months ago. What the hell is this? I guess that explains why Mom kept telling me not to call. It must have been spooky getting phone calls from a ghost. What? Someone has entered the house. Oh dear. Best case scenario, it's another burglar. That would be kind of awkward, but not as awkward as the alternative. Oh shit. Isn't this too early? They shouldn't be home yet. You consider shooting whichever parent just came in. You can't offer the souls of the dead, so you hold off on that idea. Is someone there? Hi, Mom! It's just us! Yes, we are the ghosts of your children. Come to haunt you for your sins. Welcome home. Andrew? What are you doing here? Surprise, we came for a visit. Oh, I see. Why are you so home so early? Did you get fired? It's my day off. I was just out shopping. How did you two get inside? You left the door unlocked. You should really be more careful about that. Did I really? Here, let me help you with those groceries. <laughs> Thanks. You should have let me know you were coming. You weren't answering the calls, now were you? How about some coffee? Where do you keep the grounds? In the top cupboard. But what about the quarantine? Any milk in yours? Sure. Let me just go wash my face. What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Alrighty then, that went... That didn't quite go as I, as I expected. She... It's in your mom's purse. Ooh. Nowhere near enough for you. Hmm. Well, this is a precarious situation. Let's go talk to her. Hi, sweetheart. Why did you stop answering my calls? Ashley, I can't spend my entire life listening to you complain. 
Fuck off! The least you could have done was mail us some dry food or something. What for? You were taken care of. You're still spinning that bullshit? Shouldn't you be bothering Andrew by now? At least he gives a shit. Cry about it. Hey, fuck you! Salt below, what a cunt. Meat, wine. Looks like your parents had a night planned. What, were they... Were they celebrating something? Jesus Christ, were they... Were they fucking celebrating our deaths? Our reported deaths from the fire? Wouldn't put it fucking past them. You brew some coffee. And then you spit in it. Probably. So I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated. After that, they gave us a go ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. You're sure sweating now. Is it because you know, uh, you know that they're bullshitting you? Because you know that the story about the parasites was all nonsense to begin with? Perhaps. On the news, they said everyone died. That would certainly make the story sell more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm just glad you're safe. The two of us, or just Andrew? Or... Yeah, you sure look like it. So, so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? Ha, <laughs> I wish. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? The perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with the neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no. They actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. Yes, psychopaths tend to be. Though it's probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it, because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. Yeah. He's always been the, the best liar of the two of you. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. If you can call her your mother. Well, it was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon. I really need to start making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know full well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy. I can't wait to hear how dad has been. He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix this up something. I'll take you up on that. Thank you. I don't know why I'm giving her- I'm doing my best to give her a, a voice that makes her sound utterly dead inside, because that's the impression I'm getting from the way she looks. <laughs> her expressions and all that. Mother leaves. I am Andrew! Yeah! What a chad. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Yeah, I know the feeling. Go ahead then. Make something. You smooth talker, you. Let's see. Inside the fridge is some meat. Probably make something out of that if you knew what. Let's see. You browse the cooking book for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm alright. What is it? It's nothing. 
You're struck with an odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to the back of your mind. <laughs> you know, maybe if you gave in to urges like that more often, your relationship wouldn't have gone to shit so badly. I don't know. Maybe. Where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. <laughs> thoughts about her that you wish you never had, eh? I think I know what you mean. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Simple soup recipe. Need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. A bit primitive, but all right. Oh, yeah, I've got a different inventory to her. Makes sense. All right, got meat, hee hee. Purse. I wonder if anything would change if I had left the money in that purse and had him take it instead. Yeah, sure, why not? Wait, how did we pull? Oh, wait, okay. Alright, onions. Oh, how nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. <laughs> we just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. I fucking knew it. Please just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. You can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Yep, that sounds healthy. Alright. Let's see, any new stuff? Yo! Don't you two ever get sick of each other? All the time. I hear absence makes the heart grow fonder. The very last thing I need is to grow fonder of that nightmare of a woman. <laughs> Harsh. Is dinner ready yet? <laughs> okay. Apparently Andrew and Ashley have similar feelings about... Mops. Alrighty then. Let's go... Make... Their... Uh, make our parents their last meal. <laughs> I have all the ingredients. What? All oh, right. Put the meat into top meat. Chop the potatoes into top potatoes. Chop, chop the onions. Chop the top onions and yeah. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. Nah. Give it a bit of flavor. I kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Throw the ingredients into the pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. I'm not as sexy as I first appeared. No. But first you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? You're gonna be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <laughs> An interesting reaction. No, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance stream thingy. 
Do you really- or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you mentioned this now of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? A lot? <laughs> wow. Huh, I just realized their expressions match, but reversed in terms of sex. <sighs> except, uh, Mr. Except the dad has bags, uh, has bags under his eye, like, uh, that actually doesn't have, making him look even more dead to the world. Hey kids, it's good to see you. Says dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. One extremely tiresome dinner later. Phew. That was a riveting conversation. What did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry kids. I'm exhausted from work. I'm heading straight to bed. Could you two clean up? God, it's gonna be a pain to keep all four of these voices. <laughs> right. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. It can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing? Robbing nor killing. The more I think about this, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on, the, on their radar. And if anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? Well, surely not their dead ki two dead kids. But were those documents even official? Even then, surely the poor grave siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. You are gravely overestimating the, the police force. <laughs> I mean, cases go cold with way more evidence than this. And suddenly we're not only a we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our recent whereabouts. Better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. What makes you so sure that this bitch won't snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she already sold us off once before. I mean, assuming she believed me earlier, there'd be no reason for her to do anything. Spite? I mean... She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. I fucking knew it! I knew it! I knew it! What? You're all about being so careful, but when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand! Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? Hey, you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know I'm only keeping up appearances, right? Yeah. It's just that I don't think he's very fa much more fond of them than you are. He's just much better at lying. Or maybe not much better at lying, but much more of a consummate liar. You know? And so is she. Well, to me, it was the same as ever. I mean, you're not entirely wrong there. But that's not a... But that's more of a condemnation of how it was before now, isn't it? Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing happy family here, it's you and me. So you're saying you're not happy? Not that I didn't know that already. Fuck off with that. That's not what I said. If you'd keep your end of the agreement, everything would just be peachy. Everything would be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't. But that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. What? If you don't like it, why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little murder boy? Why don't you leave me to rot? 
Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear about that. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what to do... Well, I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and the trinket. If we're leaving if we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I, I get that. But if we leave quietly, there'll be no reason for anyone to look for us. Andrew... Where is your hand going? <laughs> Andrew, what? <laughs> okay, I, I see Andrew was telling the truth about not needing a reason. Just casually groping her ass. I mean, he's got his fucking fingers through her belt loop and everything. <laughs> I thought for a moment, um... The Mrs. Gray's uh, expression was because she was overhearing them talking about murdering her, but <laughs> I think it's just because she's seeing them casually grope each other. <laughs> I mean, she can't exactly see where Ashley's hand is, who <laughs> it certainly looks like it's going somewhere untoward. Uh... Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. Actually, come to, come to think of it, I don't even know where that hand was going. I, it didn't actually show. Uh, uh, just look at, uh, just look at Andrew fra frantically pulling his, uh, pulling his hand away and... <laughs> In, f in fear. This is... I wonder if that's the. F I wonder if this isn't the first time she's shot them in a in a position like that. <laughs> Ashley, meanwhile, doesn't give a shit. I don't know what, I just realized. This tag is sticking out. It's not. Anyways. <laughs> what are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. <sighs> I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you could go stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in this house. There's more space in it than there was in the apartment. <laughs> this might have been far larger than the last one, yeah. And you're both already in your 20s. And legally dead, apparently. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. It's not like you're unwelcome to visit. It's just that you're unwelcome to visit. <laughs> There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. We need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. <laughs> she knows. Or at least she suspects. And she, and unlike me, she very much disapproves. I bet you give Mr. Grace that look all the time. I'd rather not think about that. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I don't think they're pl planning on anything like that. POV, you suggested that these two should spend any significant amount of time apart. <laughs> That's a tall order after all our earthly possessions just burn to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the couch. <laughs> wow. Way to throw me under the bus. Alright, good night. Good night. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You are under my roof now, and you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Alrighty then. Uh... Sleep now, or get out at once! Okay then. She's just really concerned about that we stay separate, or is she just being tyrannical for the sake of being tyrannical? You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention of going to pick a fight with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. Uh. Okay then. Well, there's no eyes, so this might not. Be. So this probably isn't the demon's realm. Oh wow! I don't know. There's probably a metaphor there somewhere that uh, actually it's like you know spread the flowers across to get to get across, but he just he's a tr he just walks along a trail of blood that he that he leaves himself. Goes across the empty void without any support, leaving a trail of blood in his wake. Yeah, that's definitely a metaphor of some kind. But me uh, but a metaphor what? The this freezer isn't full of human or uh, human meat. There is a severe lack of human meat in the freezer. Good to know. Greetings, neighbor. Hath thou arrived to borrow sweet granules of sugar? Behold, as thou may witness, not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All ghosts are apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. You read too much poetry. Be alert, young Mr. Grays. It is time for you to com compartmentalize. What ails thee? Okay then. Got a limb. This pan is empty. Oh, oh right. Ashley already cooked one. Okay then. Might be an arm, might be a leg. This freezer isn't full of human meat. I guess it's not completely full of it yet. Unlike me. This, the door has no handle, nor will it budge.
What are you doing here? Hey! Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. Says who? You? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Forget this. <laughs> Stop following me, you little shit! <laughs> oh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them over. Ha! No way. Press nicely or kill her. <laughs> it's a bit of a jump. Try asking nicely first. May I have one of the candles, please? Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. Just eat it then? That way you can pretend you ate the cake and won't need the candles anymore. It's too precious to eat! God, you're such a tool today! I'm, I feel like this is some kind of metaphor. <laughs> okay, whatever. Ooh, let me get that! Okay. Oh. You're welcome! This time you're fine with it? Alright then. You light it, light the candle. Ah, what's this? This is aggravating. Let's see. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring! I don't care. Go to sleep. And never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw that. Don't leave the spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. <sighs> well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I'll get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. White noise. Racist. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. So he is aware that, then that he is dreaming. Interesting. You've reduced yourself to an errand boy for a lele that doesn't even exist. Way to go, loser. Hi. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Or like, unblinking gaze? That doesn't work. Who the fuck is this? Julia. Oh, can't answer my question. Who the fuck is Julia? You've been quiet all day. What's up? N no, it's... it's nothing. Or, actually, I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. With that much build-up, you kind of have to now. <laughs> well, uh, well, okay. But please don't get mad. When have I ever once even raised my voice with her? You know you can tell me anything. I, uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's... Like, maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independence. Even if it's just for her own sake, you know? Andrew likes that idea. Maybe he enjoys having her be independent, be dependent on him, just like she enjoys him being dependent on her, or something like that. And and maybe for our sake too. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often, and not like always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Sorry. I, I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything, no. N no, but you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. 
Your sister needed something, wouldn't you go? Well, yes, but she only asked if she actually needs something. Well, who are we to, uh, who are you to judge whether she actually needs something? I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or we'll brought this up after all. No, no, it's fine. I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to you, to your friend way back when. Ashley might not look it, but I think it affected her a lot too. Maybe. Hard to say. That's probably why she is how she is. Maybe. I really don't get that impression at all. Well, the inner workings of Ashley's mind are an enigma. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? She's difficult in general. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. N no, nothing. Go on. <laughs> I think you may might have caught that. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. <laughs> I'll be fine if you're with me. Hmm. And Andrew. Andrew, you really are a superb liar, aren't you? You've got her thinking that you actually care about her. <laughs> Would you tie your hair up for me? Oh, heck no! You'll pull on it again! Ha ha ha! Ah, but don't you know it's how boys show their love? That's just awful! <laughs> hmm. Hang on a sec. You know, there's an interesting... That's an interesting thing. Is ask, uh, asking her to... Tie your hair up. You will, of course, re recall that Ashley keeps her hair tied up. Now it might just be that he just uh, that he he just likes that in general, and Ashley started, uh, and that Ashley tying her hair up is either a coincidence or an intentional r thing she did to appeal to him, or it could be the reverse. <laughs> even when you're with her even even when you're with your girlfriend you're still thinking of her in that way i mean it didn't escape it, it didn't escape me that that you were most that that when you were talking to her you were most animated when you were talking about ashley or about her tie, or about tying her hair up and all that. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. You'll never see her again. And the fact that it doesn't bo really bother you, bothers you. Huh. See? Like I said, you really are a superb liar. You had her thinking that, that you cared about her. That's, that's the slightest. Of course, that, that, of course, raises the question of why he even bothered in the first place. Per uh, perhaps he, uh, perhaps she and the other, uh, and the, the other hussies that Ashley implied he'd been with are surrogates. Surrogates for feelings that he, that he believes are wrong. 
somehow. Or maybe he's just doing it to spite Ashley, who knows. Again, maybe I'm reading too much into it. There's definitely something here. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? <laughs> you have 127 new voicemail. Ah, popular. Oh, hell no. You are not listening to all that. Oh, now I'm curious. Oh, they're from Ashley. Oh, right. He, uh, hmm. he did mention something about her dry, uh, being, 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 uh, driving Julia away. Hmm. I guess... I guess 127 angry voicemails <laughs> well, might do it. Look, I don't know what your fucking problem is. The audio has been distorted. Did you recognize that voice anywhere? I told you to fuck off. I warned you. Do you think you're all that? Do you think you're somehow special? You're just another hole, and you're not even the only one. He's got a slew of floozies just like you. Enjoy what you have. Because you're well on your way out by now. The only reason he's with you is because he feels sorry for you. You're just some ugly cunt with a dead best friend. Hurry up and kill yourself. And when you get to hell, ask your friend what happened to her. <laughs> Bet you'd be... <laughs> you'd be so surprised. Fucking die, you worthless piece of shit slut. Go slit your wrist some more. This time, do it proper. Do you think you're better than me? Just because you can fuck him and I can't? Well, that's rather blatant. You think that's love? Are you fucking delusional? Cum dumpsters like you are just that. He will never love you. Not like he loves me. I am the only one. On your AM, AM radio. I am everything. I am the secrets you'll never hear. When he lies in bed at night, and we need someone to hold on to, it's not you he seeks out. It is me. That's enough of that. Yeesh. That's, uh... Well, she's certainly enthusiastic, isn't she? Interesting. She'd f that she'd focus on the, uh... Just like, just focus on the sexual aspect of their relationship. Let's talk about how, like, that whole, lo that line, of like, I'll, like, because you can fuck him and I can't thing. Yeah, that really felt like envy, you know? That she also, that she, that she, re that she resents Julia for filling a for fulfilling a place in a relationship that Ashley feels that she can't. Or perhaps Ashley feels that Andrew won't let her. <laughs> Who knows? Hmm. Yeah. I think the, the subtext here is becoming increasingly brazen. Your ex lover's dormitory room. Dormitory room. Alright. A collection of photos and notes your girlfriend cherishes. Or your ex-girlfriend used to cherish. You're pretty sure you wouldn't be up there anymore. Hard to say, really. Trash is full of letters. Mostly death threats. Yep. That's about what I expected. Colored pencils. Frankly, I'm trying to think of my... Uh, I'm trying to move beyond simply thinking there's, you know, accessory subtext here and into the realm of maybe it'll be for the... Maybe it'll be for the best for everyone involved if they just got together. They're, them dancing around it is just to be hurting everyone around them. Oh well. Yes! Thank you! What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Good call. Well, whatever. As a thank you, I'll give you a candle. Treat it carefully, as if it were me. I'm lighting it on fire. Not cool. That's flames for you. 
Boo, you suck. Uh, at least focus on drawing. Alright. Oh, that's not ominous. Uh, that's not ominous in the slightest. Uh, Ashley would have wanted to kill this one anyway. You couldn't leave any witnesses after all. Bill, I can't comprehend why there hasn't been even a mention of her on the news. Surely someone found her before the fire burned the apartment down. Is there an investigation going on? Can this be linked back to you? Other than that, it doesn't bother you. Yeah. The her death almost certainly wasn't the self-defense that he claimed it as. It was a purely pragmatic thing. Although that leads to the question, why did he lie about it? And was the lie for Ashley's sake or for his? You killed this one to protect Ashley. No regrets. Back when he and his buddies still fed you, this one was always leering at her. Never mind. There is one regret. You wish you could have killed him slower. Heh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's as I suspected. For, as, I, as, as I've suspected for a while now. The things that seem to bother... Andrew, I really don't think they bother him as much as he, as much as he makes it out to be. And I think it's that fact, really, that bothers him. Yeah. Honestly, I can relate. There was definitely a period of my life where I was bothered about a lot of things that didn't really bother me. If that makes any sense. If it, but eventually I just realized I'd be better off if I just found that little pathetic part of me that worried about stuff like that and killed it. And I was right. This one you had to get before he got you. It worries you someone wanted you dead badly enough to hire this guy. Found Ashley in the closet. She's gay? Hmm. I, I mean, honestly, I, I 100% guarantee you there's at least there's at least a handful, probably more, uh, of people that ship her and Julia. I guarantee you. I haven't checked, but there's like 0% chance that isn't a at least slightly popular ship. Uh, what would you even call that? Ashlulia? No. Ship names that are just combinations of two names are lame. Should call it something, something thematic like, I don't know, Hodus Reeb. That's a, uh, that's a bit of a deep cut. The, the Hodus Reeb is a, uh, it's a concept popularized by, uh, Sigmund Freud. Bas uh, translates to Death Drives. It's basically the, uh, it counterbalances the, the Eros, the drive towards, uh, cre you know, creative, life-producing endeavors and pleasure and all that, and, uh, with a drive towards self-destruction. It it's what drives you towards things that cause you pain and suffering and all that, so it, you know, fits. I mean, it's all a bit iffy, I mean. That's the sort of like psychological stuff is. I could, it's complicated. I I could I could probably talk for days about the nuances there. But yeah, I'm not the one to accept Freudian psychology uh, without question. And even Freud was kind of iffy about that concept. Uh, but you can look up you can look up the the book Beyond the Pleasure Principle if you're interested. Anyways, there you are, you menace. Ta-da! I'm missing that limb you cooked. I figured you'd have it. It's in your stomach, right? And mine. Are you going to cut me up to get it? I'd rather not. What do you need it for, anyway? 
There's plenty of limbs right behind you. That's true. So you're coming out of there. You're supposed to ask Lele to come out and play. I'm asking for Ashley. Then I'm not coming. Do it yourself. Yay. Well met, young graves. Dost thou reckon that my mortal frame was consumed by the flames? Forsooth, I do not. Methinks the innards of a freezer doth not combust. Perchance it may cook, but to burn, I knoweth not. Verily, the most foolish deed thou hast ever committed was to leave mine own remains in thine own dwelling. Praise the heavens that some souls sought to protect themselves and kindled a flame which engulfed all. Thee possesseth the absent limb, yet it doth not belong to me. By chance, tis of little consequence to thee. This reminds you of something. Oh yeah, good times. <laughs> Bothers you, doesn't it? This one does actually bother you, doesn't it? It was so senseless. Her death. And you were just kids. You were just playing around. You couldn't. You didn't know, did you? Rise and shine, Nina. Ha ha. Did you have a fun night? I sure hope you've learned your lesson. There is no answer. Ah, huh. guess she's still sleeping. This video, this, this video, it's getting a bit long, isn't it? It, this is a good place to stop, isn't it? That's, <laughs> yeah. Let's stop here, because, because the video is getting a bit too long, that's, uh, yeah. This is a good place to stop, right? We can put this off another day. Until then, I... I... See you later. Alright.